and we're back in black <laughs> yes we're playing black today this is what i'm trying to say this deck is my latest invention this it's the latest iteration of Mono Black. It has so many cool and sweet things which I love so much. I think it's the most well-positioned thing that I have found for the current meta game. If you don't want to play just, you know, Cat Oven thing, which you can still do. Cat Oven Ayara, that's still kind of viable. I think this is more solid. So, why is this so good? First of all, we're rocking four Blast Zones, which is so good against all those ovens, against all those one drops from Adventures, against Mono Red. It's good against almost everything right now, Blast Zone. It's amazing. Then we have Cryotic and Arm. Pretty much the same thing. It owns Mono Red. It owns Adventures. It owns uh, uh, the cats, if you can get it off. Of course, if someone is a, in, you know, 500 IQ Pro, he will only keep doing his uh you know oven thing during his turn if he sees that you have double black and you can play cry the carnarium but not everyone is 500 iq with thousand you know million players so that's gonna happen so cry the carnarium blast zone is very good against the current meta game but then we also have lucky clover into reaper of night which is amazing to be able to de deal with fires of invention because if you get lucky clover down and either if they're on the plate usually they don't do too much dangerous things uh, they like maybe they put down a sphinx on four or something uh, but if you can prevent them from going off getting down their cavaliers and getting going really uh, and you can get the uh, the discard off with reaper of night usually they don't have anything at this point so usually you can just kill them off or finish them off from that point uh, then we have blacklands paragon for a couple of reasons it can give this guy uh, death touch which is very good if your opponent has a very very fast start uh, you can also give some itself lifelink, which means that if something attacks in, you can use that as removal. It's very good against the Grulians, for instance. Uh, catching them off guard with a Black Clans Paragon is pretty good. Uh, then we have Murder's Rider for removal. We have Calio Knight, but it's very important to have a lot of life gain, I realized, in this deck. Because kind of the way we survive and kind of the way we keep drawing cards is often we cast a lock twins. So we need life gain to sustain ourselves. We have lifelink here, we have lifelink on this, and this can also give lifelink to like a buffed knight of the Abolidion or something if we need even more life gain. We have Liliana's Triumph to be able to deal with uh, Paradise Druid and stuff like that, like things, permanents which are very very hard to deal with. Uh, I think Liliana's Triumph is one of the best still removal spells if you don't have access to other colors. It's so good that it's an instant, you can just keep this up, they play Paradise Druid, end of their turn you Liliana's Triumph, they're Paradise Druid and they can't go get their questing beast or whatever they want. Uh, Mother's Ride, of course, amazing against the Grulins, amazing all those hasters, uh, like Embercleave and stuff like that. And then just Liliana as the top end. Uh, and that is pretty much deck. That was a lot of talking. I just love this deck so much. I think it's super solid. You should definitely check it out. I think it's even competitive level, I would say. It's really good. So let's just jump into the game. Shingen, our first opponent. Finally back, Chewbacca. We're back in black. Double Witch's Cottage. <laughs> That's my uh, new party hit if you're wanting. What is a party hit, you ask? Something that you play at parties. You've clearly never been to a party! <laughs> well, well, maybe that's the case. Who knows? <laughs> we all know that! Oh, sure. Well, well, well. Oh, this seems like a deck where our uh, uh, our bird sweep would be pretty insanely, insanely good. Well, we're gonna put this down. And we're, uh, we are actually not gonna use this. We are gonna. Why did I not put the witch's cottage down? I don't know. Why did I? Brains? Brains? Why did you not put the witch's cottage down there? Brains? Thought we were over this. Apparently, he didn't want to do this. <laughs> uh, okay. I think... I think we're gonna do her. Let's stay on the blocks with the... Not the... Ibon Lijon. Well, I guess we could go in. Does it matter? Go in? Nah, it's better to have him on the blocks, I think. Better to have him on the blocks. Let's see what Shingen does. We, sure, we could go in, but he's probably just gonna block with this. This dies and nothing happens, actually. Oh, well, what an annoying deck for me. Okay, well, all we need is the Cry of the Canarium, I guess, then. The other Hunted Witness, sure. 
And then he just passes the turn. Surely. Okay, no. Oh, oh, doesn't. Okay. Well, we killed the Cruel Celebrant, because that's going to deal a little damages. I'm going to take one more, so three damage in total. We can double kill the Hunted Witness and our own Knight of the Ebony. I don't think that's what we're going to go for. I'm going to make him discard the last card. That could be something juicy, I think. Nope, just land. Okay, no thanks. We have pretty good defense here. Eating good defense, this is a weird, weird matchup. Both players are like... I'm not going to go in. Well, maybe the or 7 force goes in, but a little bit of smacking damage. But then he's not on the block, so that's not super good either, I don't know. Um, block. Easy. Okay. okay. He tries to aggro me down. Um, hmm. Well, 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 mister. Well, uh, let me know that is not going to work. I have the power of the snake and the power of the blast strong. A lot of blasters. I learned them. Shingen. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, well, now we definitely need to cry the Carnarium. Definitely need to cry the Carnarium. Well, you can't go in both these, I guess. We'll take two. He probably doesn't want to, though, because he has to return. Return the swinger. Uh, well, uh, you know, not block. Oink. And my turn. Hmm. Well, well, Liliana's triumph is looking pretty silly against this guy. Must admit. I think we put this down. I think we can <laughs> one token, so I think. Uh, this guy's not gonna do it. That's a weird part. And uh, we don't want that thing on top, so we're gonna decline that. Decline. I think. We're just gonna have to take one damage for a couple of turns. I think that's how, how we have to do it. Okay, let's see. Hey, does. Gets one small creature, maybe. Maybe! Divine Visitation! <laughs> Cry, please, of the Carnarium! <sighs> could we take one 4-4? Four, four? I mean, you could kill that with a Murder Strider, so... Let's do this. Let's get six live. Block this. And then kill the angel with the murder strider. And then maybe double Liliana's triumph to get rid of everything. Uh, or we just do this, I guess. Kill it with another Cavalier Knight. And that gets to the bottom, and that's done. Now, next turn, I don't think a 4-4 four four is even that dangerous. Could probably go double Leon's Triumph or triple or something. D-Spark, okay. Schmink. Goes away. And the last card. Murdify. Murdify, Murdify, Murdify. Okay, to the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Uh, no box, that's fine. We're gonna deal way much more damage than one with this guy. Okay. Well, I think go into this. Buff him twice. And that's a decent amount of damage. He didn't even have to do anything. Okay. Takes one damage. Another creature. Nope. Well, he realized that strategy wasn't the best. So let's see what he found there. What did you find, Mr. Just land. Just land. Well... <laughs> We're just digging for that cry they can him. Get rid of this thing. Okay. Get locked when. Seraph of the Scales. Ooh. That's a annoying little blind station, I have to admit. One of Black's biggest... Uh, the most difficult thing about playing black is that he can't deal with enchantments, really. Well, we can take out the blast on the five, I guess. Long-term strategy. Very long-term strategy. Uh, could go in with the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Buff it up and then double Leona's Triumph. Will he block? That's a question. 
Ah, just a question, mister. Man, if we could remove a counter also from our blast zones here, that would be amazing. Okay. Locked up. And kill it. And he off lives too. And let's see here. If I Lilona's Triumph here, it will just sacrifice this. So I need to murder ride, essentially. This thing. And then I hope to draw into... Uh, yes, again, our Cryo to Carnarium. We have four of them in the deck, but... Doesn't seem that way. Okay. We'll take five of them. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Dunk, dunk, dunk. That thing. Also, we have four of these, but <laughs> those are also not showing up. Okay, there it is. Uh, can we play this and... One, two, three, this. Yeah, we can play this and we can play the here. So that's pretty good. Play this. Take that murderous rider. Take the 4 4. Now it's a question if we started blocking even, so we can get rid of this Ors of Enforcer once and for all. <laughs> Some double, double Lyonis Triumph to get rid of it. So. Might be the way. He's done 7. New Celebrant. Mm, okay, that's a lucky Clover. That's not gonna do much either. Could tick this up to 2, or even to 5. Or we can start putting these down. If defending player has two or fewer cards in hand, the game's flying. Or we take this blast up to five and finally deal with the, that thing. How many counts can I put on? Put on three. That's four. Ah, oh, that's not enough. I think I'm still gonna get rid of this. This is way too annoying. We're gonna get there. Soon. Soon we're gonna get there. <laughs> First game. Stalling. Stalling the game. Did I say black can't get rid of the divine vestation? Black can do anything. Look at this. But charge count is on. Three of them. Man, we're one off. We can have them, but that's, that's fine. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna get there. The charge count is on there. And it's past the turn. I'm gonna get to that fifth charge counter on the blast zone. It's cost 11,000 mana to do this. Definitely worth it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would probably have been faster to kill him with the Reaper Knight. <laughs> Kyle's Wrath. Uh... Actually, I can double Leona's Triumph. And that will kill his angel, so let's do that. Yeah, he's trained. That guy goes. Okay. Sure. I'll take one damage. Yeah, he's trained. Force him before she finally goes. Finally! Getting rid of it, okay. Sure. And board sweeps. His own creature. And we get back this guy. And we can put a counter on this. Yes! One. <laughs> okay. Well, now we can deal with the divine station. Now we can deal with it. Perfect. Can we also kill him this turn? Three. How much damage is this? We can't buff this three times, right? Uh, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, we're one off. We're one off killing him. But we got him! <laughs> go! You go first. The perfect hand. We can have a sneeze in just a moment. It's very important that I tell you about the sneeze. Because when I tell you about the sneeze, it might go away. Sneeze! I banish thee! Sneeze? Okay. I quenched it. Uh, I think we put this out. Uh, it's maybe bad since we might go cry the canard next turn, depending on what he has here, but... 
This card is. I'm so. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that means the Crowdicon arm is probably not gonna get used, to be fair. Oh, not so. Oh, there you go. I haven't found another one. Okay. Well, going with this. I think what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put this down as well, I think. Because he probably just a discard deck. There's a lot of discard cards. So we can put on some pressure here. Early before we have no cards left. Okay, that's not at all what it was. Just casual fan lurker then. Okay. Well, well, well. We're gonna go in with this then. I don't think he's gonna block. We'd be surprised. Nope. Uh, and then we get rid of two cards in his hand. What? Chandra? What is this deck, Mystical Blade? What are you what are you even playing? Okay. Oh, it's a sacrifice deck with Yorok? And he didn't find red? Okay. Well that's weird, but now we know. Now we know what we're playing as at least. Wink. Okay. So maybe Cry of the Conarium isn't the worst after all. I can clean up pretty much everything he has here. Uh, we'll go in with this. See if it blocks. Maybe just takes it. Man, it would be sweet to just get to bring one more damage here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to, so... Yeah, now that I'm a legion, here you go. That means that next turn we can play this and kill this bloodthirsty aerialist. Okay. Why did you do that? <laughs> exactly. Just to buff it a little bit? Okay. And then smack him down. The bloodthirsty aerialist, I'll show him. The power. Real money black. He's just a real money black. He's just a faker. A faker, I say. Mystical potato. Uresses. Mm, but we have only creatures. Mm. <laughs> Problem. Problem. I need the troll face. I don't have it on a shortcut, unfortunately. Um, I think we'll end the turn. We can use the castle locked in maybe end the turn. Ooh, we had a cat also. Hey, he had a little bit of everything, this mystical potato. Spicy potato, I must say. A little bit of everything. And there's the witch's card. That's perfect. Put this down. I think this is probably gonna be enough for a screw, but we'll see. Black zombie. And smack him. Effective. Back. Effective. Now I need something pretty good. Pretty good. Priest? Okay. Not gonna be enough, mister. Not gonna be enough. Uh, we just go into this. Boom, 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 boom. The, the damage. Unfortunately, these cards, right now, they don't do too much. Now we can put down this guys. Uh, I think I'd rather lose some life than draw a card. Okay, lucky close. <laughs> Appearing a little bit late, but sure. It's fine. It'll be fine. Mystical Potato. Think you're in trouble there, mister. What is it, nine to get the ultimate off? We're close. Swing. And uh, is there anything else I want here? No, it's pretty good. Just down, just down, put it down, put it down, put it in. He's down three. We right. got him. I think we're gonna get a Hoonings. Are we gonna win with this? Oh, no. <laughs> you go first. Hallelujah. That is the best thing about magic. When I go first, no, no, no. When I win, that's the best thing. But I go first. Well, that's almost like winning, right? I missed one. Fine tune the camera settings here. You can see my scalp a little bit clearer. <laughs> sure, you'll be enjoying that. Uh, and just pester. It's unfortunate that's first strike. Uh, but we can put it down end of his turn. Maybe smack into something. Like 
Oh, further champion. Well, that black lens paragon is pretty bad right now, I will admit. Team first strikers. Oh. Me. And you get first strike? No? Yourself. Buff yourself. Believe in yourself, Black Lance Paragon. Mm. We just put down a murder right? I think that's the right play. Down a knife, maybe. Have something more on the board. And do we go in with this? We don't want to block it anyway, so might as well. Boink. Man, Reaper Knight, if we could get the combo, we haven't gotten the combo of a single tan. Is that a complaint? <laughs> I always complain. You know this about me. I'm a master of complaints. This is good though. When they hit double mountain. That feeling when they hit double mountain. It feels pretty good. Ah, oh, but then that feeling when they hit double fervent champion. But that feeling when they can't go in because you have murderous rider. This could be a whole uh, a whole meme series. Right here. Do we want to get rid of his last card? No, we can't! Can't! Well, I keep up the Murrus and I'll keep up the Lilianers. See what he finds here. He finds Tor, but that could be dangerous, for instance. Scorch Spitter. Okay, well, you have many weapons, but you're all haunted by this. Oh no! Well, here's the thing. You can kill one Fervent Champion. One of them. I'm gonna take some damage from this. Gonna be uh, a little bit a lot of damage. But he can't really go in though. Oh, well, he can, but I still gain life then. So I think here then, we kill the. Kill the Scorch Spitter. Because the Fervent Champion I don't think is any problem. Unless he has something like Ember Cleave or something. I don't think he has. So Scorch Spitter can go. And then we start gaining life back, I think. With this guy. Gaining life, gaining life. <laughs> gaining life. I think the Spear Spear is what uh, screwed him over. It just makes it so that it can never attack him. The cavalcade doesn't really become good him. Yeah, that's just gonna heal me. <laughs> that's gonna heal me, mister. Um, let us see here. We can go in with these two and put down the Nervous Rider. I love that almost everything in this deck heals. Uh, in the previous version of the deck, which I'm probably gonna talk about, or I have already talked about in the intro, I actually... <laughs> the Spirit Spear is not so good when you're lower this up. Uh, I actually uh, played everything, everything at life. Change it up a little bit. Okay, well, you can deal some damage here. Too much, really, but... Oh, they're so cute! Oh, they're so cute! Only those two. That is almost the damage. Bing, bing. Okay. And now, do we use Lilliana's Triumph? No, because it won't do anything. Instead, what we do, we use this. Destroy this genre. Destroy it. I want to see it. Probably have attacked in first also. Probably. Probably have done that. Go in with everything. Now he needs a block also. With at least one creature. Yeah, the Spear Spear is probably not going to be amazing. Eh? I don't think so. We have been crushing, but we haven't been up against the most meta of opponents. I think that this deck is actually competitive. I think we can take on even more difficult opponents. Put this down. Yeah, it's pretty much a dream scenario against the Monrads, I would say. <laughs> All life linkers. On burn. <gasps> Movie! The movie Louie Louis. Uh, okay. Is this a good hand? 
tool under. Never keep a tool under, you usually say. That's not a bad rule for life, honestly. Never keep a tool under. This is a freaking good tool under, honestly. Oh. Oh, it hurts so much. But I have to stand by my own rules. Never keep a tool under. Uh, what goes there? I definitely want Lucky Clover in the Reaper. Do I need Black Lands or do I put down... Mm, in this case, I probably go with the Knight, I think. Put something down early. Probably go Witch's Cottage. Mm -hmm. Or do I go... Yeah, we don't need a 3 though, here, so. Okay, well now... <laughs> okay, we put this down. Uh, and then we put Castle Lockdown, uh, Lucky Clover, Lucky Clover, Reaper Knight. Let's see what he has here. Palmire Knight, does he have the adventure creature? Okay, maybe. Maybe, we don't know. Okay. Wow, all of them? Oh, I guess it's gonna be a lot of adventures. A lot of them. Air Cry the Canary would have been pretty sweet. Did we have that in the la in the hand of the mulligan? Maybe then. Yeah, that goes away. Oh, he's down to 14. Oh, he's taking damage from both these lands. Okay, that's why. Okay, we're at 17 now. Okay, I got this down. And another lucky clover. I could have put down the knight, I guess. Could block this. We'll see if we draw the land there. If we don't draw the land. We're in trouble. We have 26 lands, so we quite like to draw into it. The actual innkeeper. And the murderous. Yeah, I cried a Carnarium. Didn't find our anti tech here, unfortunately. Uh, but this is at least pretty sweet to get off. <laughs> Six cards would have been. We didn't nearly need three Reaper Knights, but. Okay, that goes, that goes. Yeah. We did overdraw on the Lucky Clover, so... Man, one cry, though. One cry and this is pretty much done. This entire board, essentially. Don't tell me you top deck Questing Beast there. That's fine. That's fine. Cry the Canarium. No, not Cry the Canarium. Well, keep this down. It's a pretty decent blocker, though. We'll keep these guys away for a while. Or a little bit, at least. A little bit. A little bit of that action. Follow my knight. This card loses a life. I'm gonna draw one from the edge wall. Ah, he's getting, uh, he's getting the business offer. We have like eight anti cards against this deck, but we don't always draw into them. We have both uh, the uh, the land, which can destroy all his one drops, and we have the cry the canarium, but. You need to draw into them also. Only Falmire? Well, in that case, I guess we'll take it. No box. And definitely the castle lockdown. Right? We need to find our business. Okay, that's not good. Well, that this is pretty decent though. Now we can kill the edge wall engine. Okay? I'm gonna take three damage though from all this all his scrubs. All these guys. Put on this. Yeah. Yeah, we should live with the rules. Oh, now we're... Now we're not dead. We're just almost dead. Man, we have so much tech against this. Oh. We weren't... I guess that's how all magic players feel. Like, you prepared for a deck and like, I have every card against this deck. And then it's just... You're gonna find none of them. Uh, okay. I think this... Oh, well. <laughs> then you find it when it's too late. Uh... Sad panda. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll can do this at least. Can I at least show that we have it? We had this in our deck, but... We were pretty bad. 574. Yeah, that was just. Ah. 
just feels about it. Well, that's magic, you know. You need to draw the right cards in the right matchup. You need to draw board clear against small dudes. You need to draw anti-control cards against control decks. Right card at the right moment. Maybe. We'll make up for it this game, we'll see. Ah, little goosh. And another color over there, that's... Oh, the small dudes. Hey, was quick on the board there, we'll see. We can catch up with this. We can catch up with this. Without the... Hopefully it doesn't have the... The oven. Ooh, okay, midnight. Uh, well, I guess we need to kill that, and probably the goose also. I'm gonna go down low. We <laughs> can't go down low with this. We have a lot of luck, you know. Luck in the cross. Uh, yep. Lose card, lose a life. We can't lose four life for this. I'm gonna like lose two life from these also. At least we have a little bit of a clear board, at least. And next time we can go Reaper Knight. Hopefully. Oh, is he Land Salt? No, he's not. <laughs> now the call of a miller. Okay, taking it. I think we're just gonna try to lose all his cards here. I think that's the way. It's the way we want to do things. If he draws just lands or something, that would be amazing. Uh, and now we can maybe put down like a cavalier or something to regain the life that we lost. Don't draw an oven here, please. <laughs> please, sir. Don't draw oven, sir. Uh, it would have been better sweet than land, but I think this is probably fine also. Land, yes. Yes, this is how we need to do things. Okay, Murder's Rider goes in. Just take it. Just takes it, okay. Put down this, and sacrifice nothing. I don't need to kill those cats. We climb. Now we're slowly rebuilding her. Slowly, slowly rebuilding. Oh! Oh! That felt good. Redemption! Redemption for the last game. Cloud Mag I love that it went. We played against the 500th best player in the world, and then we just go. Oh, and then 77th mythic, mythic. It's like last time when we played against Nanashi. It's like we played against the thousandth best player in the world, and then the game after was like 36% mythic. <laughs> it's probably conceded every game he's played so far. Um, okay, you go first with this hand. I guess since we go first, we can keep this. This is good against so many decks right now. It's good against knights. It's good against um, anything which has the uh, the cat oven thing. What isn't it good against? I think I'm not gonna put this down now. See, it's probably gonna put down small creatures. Very, very likely. Or not. Okay, crash it or two. Well, I think I keep up the murders right there. I want to see what options there are if I just want to cry. Make him cry. My John is proud, Matt. Well, that will have to kill him. Murderous. Gains the life points. And impression order. Comes in. Or the scab ahun. Ooh, well, I mean, we have the business. I think we put this down. That's what we do. Because we're either gonna play another Murder Strider next turn, or we're gonna do the Cry the Canarm. If we put some more small dudes, he might not have another Johnny. If he has another Johnny, we just yeah, have to Murder Strider it, I guess. Pacifism, okay. And he goes aggro, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You really found nothing. Put this down as a blocker. Nah, I think we just keep out the Murder Strider. Want to utilize both sides still, even though we are ticking down on life, I think that's fine. Okay. Gonna have her four manas, a Johnny. Big Papa John. Papa Johnny. Aurelia. That's all right. Okay. I won't say that much. Okay. Kill this thing. Hope to draw into our fourth land now. I'm pretty sure we have 26 lands. 
really short. But I might have miscalculated. Might have to check that again. Just going a little bit chilly. And it could have haste as well. I think it was gonna put me down. Still not finding it! Come on, deck! We can't lose the Cloud McKnife! We just missed three turns of lands. That's a lot of turns. Now we have the bestness, I guess. I guess that's good at least. Can block the impassioned orator if it comes in. I think we're gonna lose this just to not drawing lands here. Very likely at least. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious, deck? Oh, uh, well. Wait, why didn't I cry the Canarium there? Why didn't I cry the Canarium? Why didn't I cry the Canarium? I've been waiting for this so long. Oh, my freaking goners! <laughs> why didn't I cry? I've had it so long. I can't play for the can't pay for the first strike now at least. So I could just Black Lance Paragon, kill the impassioned orator, and then on my turn I can try the Canarium. Mentors. Fervent champion. Okay. Well I can't play for the first strike, so. This guy. A little bit left, okay. Uh doesn't matter who I kill her, because everything's gonna die anyways. Block there. Boom, boom. Down to nine! Oh, there it is! There it is! Uh, we're gonna decline this, though. Decline, we just one lands. <laughs> just one lands. Nothing else. Two, two guys go away. Put down this. Boom. Man, if I'd cried last turn and then got a Reaper of Night this turn, that would've been amazing. To have a big Chandra or something? Could be. Nope. No more creatures? Out of creatures? Out of creatures, okay. Well... Well, I have my instance. It probably has a lot of hasters. I think I'm just gonna go in, smack this guy once. Hope to go my lands. 45. Okay. <laughs> Magic! A game of lands. A game of struggles. <laughs> and a game of people playing permanent which don't do anything. Ah, uh, well, this is gonna be a slow, slow death for this guy. Uh, when he has five cards which buffs his creatures, I really don't feel like going in. A non-human, isn't this a human? Okay, this doesn't work. <laughs> Probably because this on this, I guess. Um Okay, I'm gonna find land now. Yes! That's pretty cool. I'd say on the blocks though. I don't want to die. I really, I, we could go in, but then he goes in back. I mean, we could pay that. We could pay for the Leona's Triumph. And and other stuffs. Okay, blocks there. Oh, I have to pay them. I could have paid earlier, but I thought if he drew into a haste, it would have been dead there. Cloud McKnife. Finding the creatures that he needs here. This is a little bit annoying for <laughs> Liliana's Triumph. We'll see. We might get our Liliana down here. What seemed impossible might actually be possible. I think I was going to do this, actually. Just have a clear border. Okay. I don't know what is in his hand, but... I like it. I like it, bandit. Oh, why didn't he play that? Oh, he didn't have enough white or something. Um... I think I say no attacks. This guy could have any weird haster. That's what I'm so afraid of. We find it on this turn. And we tapped out. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. 
Oh, it doesn't have enough though to ca activate Castle Arden again. Ooh, that's why I didn't play this, because I didn't have enough both to activate this and to play the Dawn of Hope. Okay. It's a 1-1. One, one. Sure. I promise you it's gonna... Like, 6 land is gonna take like... I don't know, 5 more draws or something. Before we get there. Oh, I didn't think about this getting buffed. <laughs> I didn't even look. I stopped looking. Okay. Well. Yes. Okay. Sacrifice the creature, please. Could put down Liliana also, I guess. Minus Liliana. I think I want to have it on a clear board. So we're gonna keep these guys up. Uh, we're gonna Liliana's Triumph for every place, essentially. And then we're just gonna Liliana plus. And then start going Liliana. Then we could be Liliana minus at some point. Okay. Cloud McKnife. We're succeeding up. Okay. Fervent champion. Mm. Well, I guess we kill that. Six. That's fine. My turn. Yes. Do we have a, do we have the knight here? Okay. No, we don't have. Hmm. We don't have the things we want there. Well, I guess we do this then. Yona. I think we have to go minus actually. We do this. So well, at least I finally have Leon on the board. Hopefully, it doesn't draw a haste here. Okay. Well, maybe I should have put the knight of the ebon leading on top. Now nah, we just need life linkers. I think we, I think we decline this. Choose one. Okay, we choose this and then decline. All we need is life linker us now. Get the big, the big noits. I hope that he doesn't draw a haster. Has a couple of them. Jolly's fine. That's absolutely fine. He's still missing white. <laughs> he still can't use this also. Yeah. And now we're finding the lands. Took a while. We persevered. Persevered through this. We drew that a Johnny's primate. And now get this done. Yes. Slowly, slowly rebuilding him. It's not every day you recover from uh, such a land deficit in the game. What <laughs> the round. Man, this game was essentially complaints. Complaints. Complaining some more. Complaints. Complaining. A little bit more complaining. And then just. Mm, enjoying that win. <laughs> Obnix24. And see if we can get our action off. Now to the Ebon Legion. The Bone Legion. The, we want the cosplay as the Joker. I've said this a million times, I'm getting old. Give this one. Obnix 24. This is a pretty decent hand, I think. Well, 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's just open draw into either Cavalcade or our land there, then. I just want to crush these decks so much. I have the tech! Can I also have the draws? That's what I'm wondering. It's a combination, of course. You need to have the right cards in your deck, and you also need to draw the right cards. We've seen multiple tab. It's all about the luck. The lucky dress. There's a cry. If I play the cry now, color for me goes away. But I think I'm not gonna do that. Why do you think you're not gonna do that? Because I think there's another color for me there. Why? That's my freaking psychic. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I can sense those things when they have double familiar. I can sense them. <laughs> Sniff it up like this. Oh, uh, yeah, and I, also I can't play it, because I'm not three balance. You know. And my brains is, of course, huge. To figure this out. Like this. So, so many brain powers. A million brain powers, at least. Okay. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Well, now they're lining up. Now they're lining up. 
okay. Well, at least. I can go in with the knight, get one damage for free, and then we can clear up. Wink. Locks. The cauldron. Okay. That's fine. Now we're gonna happen, Mr. Now we're gonna happen now. Anything that's was put into the graveyard can go away forever. It's <clears throat> pretty sweet. Now you keep need to keep in mind that this second clause of this. If you want to how does this work? Well you also put it that back down. You didn't need to do that. Uh, it would have worked anyways, even if it didn't come back, because it will also excel all costs that in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Also works. Oh, in all graves, he's also my grave. Didn't even that I did not. Know. That last part I did not know. Well, of course, because my things go away. I don't know what I'm thinking about that for. Okay. Well, here we at least can get rid of some curds in his hand. We didn't need the lucky clover this time. Schmink, schmink. Ooh, okay, he also had the Cavalier there. Schmexy. Schmexy, schmexy, Omnix 24. So next turn... Hmm, do we just murder this ride, I guess? We need to go into full control mode if we do that, though, with Lucky Clover. Yes. Perfect! <laughs> Absolutely redonkulous. Okay. Well, that he could dodge, though, with the Witch's Oven, I guess. And uh, I will put it down. Yeah, that's a good measure. I am happy I did draw into the uh, the bird clears there. Hopefully, it doesn't find another cat there. Okay, priest. He's really good. Man, that we can all do. Okay. So, here's what we need to do we need to go into full control mode here. Uh, because else you can't decline these triggers, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, kill this. Resolve you. Reserve. Does he now eat it up in response? Oh, we should eat up the uh, the mayhem level in response. Yes. No, you ate up the wrong thing. Okay. Should have eaten up the mayhem level because that means I can't get the murders rather. Okay. Resolve you. Resolve this, and this I can decline. Yes, decline. Uh, we're gonna resolve. Oh, wait. Why is it targeting? I stepped the climb, didn't I? Rack. Okay, so I'm not gonna get my bonus rider. I thought I could. Target creature planeswalker. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> god damn it. If you have a target, okay, you have to play it. Okay. Well, now we learned something today. <laughs> Damn it! Priest of Golden Gods. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and let's see here. Oh, put a Murder's Rider on top. That seems pretty amazing. Yes. Yes. Yes, take action. And uh, this guy. It's pretty big. Hopefully, he doesn't go in the Sean there. He hasn't been hitting lands on top. So far. But he might start. At some point. We'll see. Come on, land now. But for once, draw a land. Not more business! <laughs> Rack! Oh. Rack. 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 Okay. Well, at least we have this. Now, well, pretty much need to play it, don't we? Well, now we're gonna wait with this. Because he might want to kill two creatures if he has two creatures. Might. Twing, twing. Did not though. Now we finally start hitting ants. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Randomness, it's random! Yep. Well, this way at least we don't lose any life, so that's good. Uh, and he gets back the Mayhem Devil, of course. Mayhem Devil! Yes! Wink. Wink. And does he also eat them up in response? Wow. Okay. Sure. Swing. Sure. Uh, 
sure. And last food also, okay. Yep. Okay. Climb. And I think we take a little damage here. We just need to find our life game business. Our own damaging things. Oh. Well, we can play, uh, play this end of his turn. L hit the land for once! God damn you! <laughs> can not just hit the land! One time! Okay, well, put this down. And cast a lock win. Come on now. Life gain? Oh. No. No. Well. I'm going with this at least. Going with this. But if he draws another mayhem level. Come on now. Can he hit. Please hit land for once. Obnix 34. One time hit land. One time. Land! Land! Okay, Sagmar's good. Well, the black is right. Definitely go. Definitely go. What? That doesn't seem awfully smart. Okay, well, come on now. Life gain? Not a black is probably would also work, actually. Kill the priest of forgotten gods. Come on now. Life gain, life gain, life gain, life gain. No! Okay, I think I'm actually gonna use this now. Uh, well. I th think I'll just go in and keep up the lowest driver. Come, hit land! Land! Yes! Yes! He hit it! Okay, that's exactly what we need. That's exactly what we want to have in our life. So this, decline, decline, buff you, and go in. Maybe I should have kept on the last time. We'll see. Okay, hit land. Mr. Hit land. Hit land. Hit the land. Hit the land. Yes! 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 Okay, so now we just, now we just go ham. Wink, wink, wink. Oh, that felt so good. Yes, and we're up to six. And he's down to nine. Oh, and now it's land. Yes, 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 yes. It's gonna hit though. Battle Butcher. <laughs> That's actually dangerous. Weird enough. Oh, wait, no, wait. You got axe and it dies. That's not super smart. That's super smart, Mr. Well, go in. You can deal two damage with it with the witches on them. That's about it. Twink. 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 Oh! That! It's a lot of complaining in one day. Man, I complain a lot. I'm sorry for my complaints. No, I'm not sorry. I'm a dark lord. I can complain however much you want. I hope I spread some negative energy today. I hope your day is ruined. Member shout out. Member, member shout out. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to our dear members. Oh, here they come, here they come. Oh. Blue Dragon 077, Adam Alexis, Ramen Noodles for me, Magic Pisserman, Simon Lauer. I have to try to increase this window. Rodney Cox, Herman M, Agony Reborn, The Soft Pillow, Snicks, Snick, Luria Stars, Shamanix, Spencer Hofstie, 
Alex Michael, Nathaniel Nisser, Laser Set Stun, Eric 0234, Jeff Henry leaning into it, Santa John, Michael W, Poki U, Matthias Borley, Top its Investments, Kronos 1107, W Lutz 1978, PPV3 Gold, Strange Brontides, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Mark JC, Team Stokes, Wisa, Q the Lady 23, Brian Gutierrez, Amano 84, Seth Hickok, Way, Ian Cusack, Mesomok, Ye Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Orion SFL, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Weak, Raymond 2002, 40k Television, Actors Ascending, New Light, Moonlight Star, Donkey Kong, Wilka Ribeiro, Jace Unraveler of Secret Vines, Carlos Martinez, Jake 2000, Dave Steer, Nicolas Sanotti, Jurassic Fort, The Swamp King, Woki Floren, Rage Notch, Simple Human, Badass Iwanab, John Domian, Gesuzaki, Aaron Noble, Betsuma, Bloody Sick, Brandon Dobbs, Callus Dismissal, Carlo Palumbo, Dan Goodsell, David Newman, DBK Drama, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stephenson, Jeff Jordan, Kason, Kip Kastner, Magneto, Miss and Mrs. Smith, Potty, Prince, Mock, Bagok, Esquire, Rainbow, Cake, Serge Carmaro, Wonderbread, X Covenant X, Timothy, Sam Williamson, Super Noodle 7, MC Hermes, Face 6, Dr. Jadron, David Hanold, Infinite Draw, Neo Terror, Lin Ninja Long Gnome, Claw, J Cap, Fumiaki, Kinoshita, Dam Drone, Steve Draminski, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Denley, or Orange Mango, Coop Cooper, Coop the Grace, Javier Diaz, Steiner Bucken, and Mac the Mac Duncan. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> and if you also want to become a member and help rule the underworld, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button or check out the Patreon. Link in the description. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Also, thank you. The only bad show is a Patreon. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subbly dubbly, scribbly dibbly.